morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Okay. Welcome to Overcast Winnipeg and it's probably going to rain today and the chances of my new bike being delivered are pretty much zero. <laughs> okay. Let's try not to talk about that anymore today. Let's talk about model stuff. Got a comment from a viewer and I had noticed that too that there looks like on this part that there is a a place or a dimple you might call it for a fifth LED. Now let's let's uh, recompose and take a close look at that. And uh, yeah, then then I'll then I'll explain why I'm pretty sure that's not for an LED. Uh, yeah, let's 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 just recompose here. I'm just going to push stop. Okay, and yesterday's episode, we had marked off with a sharpie where those four uh, light fixtures would go, according to the uh, manual. And if you flip this thing over, you can see on the other side where there are dimples, like like this dimple here. Is is this hole right here? Now, I realize that because I've done the, the Sharpie thing, it's hard to see the hole. Um, however, yeah, here, here is the other three, but here is a fourth one. And I was noticing that if you, if you follow right through and envi envision it coming out the other side, there really is nothing there that I can see except for these, these, these two holes right right here this one and this one and i do believe that that's where one of those binocular looking like things goes uh but i could be wrong there there is a is that a hole right there but it, it wouldn't come out right there um no they if i if i kind of envision where my finger is uh, it, it would be about here, and th there's just nothing right there. So I, I, I don't think so. I, I think this may have been an afterthought, in, in, in or, or, or something in Trumpeter's uh, thinking, um, because the, the dimple is, is slightly different from the from the other ones. Uh, now maybe it's more elongated because uh, of the side molding and so on. To, uh, but they should have still been able to make it look round. These ones look round, whereas this one doesn't. It looks sort of uh, elongated, oblong. oblong. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get our holes drilled. You know, I'm I'm wondering if possibly I should uh, put in a smaller bit and put pilot holes through because uh, uh, it seems to me that the last time I drilled out these and I did not make pilot holes. Uh, one of them, and maybe two, but one for sure, because I remember talking about it, was not in exactly the right place. Not that anybody's going to be able to notice anyway. Uh, so let's let's, let's uh, do some pilot holes, get these done, and uh, hopefully we can get our little parts glued in place today. Hopefully. I'm wondering now if maybe marking these with the uh, Sharpie was not a good idea, because I can hardly see the hole myself. Yeah, that's it. And the last one here. It looks like I'm not centered because the the sharpie mark is not centered, but it, it's actually in the in the hole there. Okay, that should help. Now we'll get this other one on. Whoops! I didn't tighten that good enough, did I?
All right, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other three the same way. Only I'm going to tighten the drill bit first. Hmm, that's funny. Wonder if I've got the wrong drill bit. That seems kind of. I don't remember them having to be pressed that hard to get them to go in. Uh, okay, well, obviously, uh, you know, it, it, I, I thought that this was the drill bit because this is the one that we had. Hmm. Am I doing something wrong here? There, there, it's going. Yeah, it's it, it is going down. It's just a, it's just a real tight fit, which which is good. Yeah. Okay, now press it back out. I'm gonna do that off camera. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna end up poking myself trying to do it. A, in front of the lens. Okay, working from left to right with our small pieces here, we want the P63, which is uh... Oh, somebody was indicating stop using tweezers, uh, but I find when I go to do some things that are require a little bit of dexterity uh, my fingers don't work too good so I use the tweezers to grab stuff okay alright here is our P63 and it goes like this and it looks like it's going to go uh, right th no it's not that one it's this one up here here we go Yeah, it sort of locks into place. Maybe I'll sort of block this up so that it stays at this angle. And that way, uh, yeah, I should be able to just go ahead and where, where is something here? Pardon my reach. Put that in behind like that. It kind of holds it. Um, okay, where's my glue? Here it is. Extra thin. It's going to go like this. And, uh, okay, yeah, we should be able to get a hold of it. Okay, now it has to go, and we turned this around, didn't we? So it goes like this. Let's just check here. Yeah, because we turned it around. Yeah, we got it right. That's not the best fit. I think maybe I didn't get enough glue on, which is which is really unusual for me. Why am I having such trouble with this one? Okay. It's sort of sticking now. Yeah. All right. Let's let that uh, meld into place. And then I guess the next one would be whatever goes there.
I'm okay. You got any eggs or stores from the spill? <laughs> Not particularly. Right. You're a tough old bird. <laughs> Forget the old word. <laughs> it was very dramatic coverage. You're a great entertainer. <laughs> a flash of blue sky. <laughs> Oh, what are you smelling there, Missy? What are you smelling? I smell mud in the corner of Vegas Trail and Henderson Highway. I guess I better get this uh, bike box shoved into place here today. I was going to do it yesterday and I just didn't feel like it. I know what you mean. I'm supposed to go to the gym today, but I really don't feel like it. <laughs> Okay, time has marched on. I've been kind of busy here, as well as getting the rest of the pieces on our overhead bulkhead here. I did my grocery shopping in the rain, so I guess that means I will not be going for a bike ride this afternoon, unless the sun was to come out right now and dry up the road. But I don't think that's about to happen. Um, yeah. As for news, I got a email from uh, Tegan. If you remember Tegan, he's the guy who came about just a little over four weeks ago and he picked up my scooter because the key wasn't working. And he said it should be ready Tuesday. <laughs> well, I think by Tuesday, the Rebel's going to be here. And I'm not going to be wanting to ride a scooter if I can ride something, you know, a real motorcycle. At least, that's the way I feel right now. However, the real motorcycle isn't here yet. And, uh, well, we weren't going to talk about that anymore. Anyway, we got all the parts on for step 26. 26 is done. I can't see anything we've missed. I've, uh, I've gone over the page here. Every, everything is down. So, 26 is done. 27. Now, 27 looks a lot like 26. It's just more small stuff that's going to be dropped down onto here. And then we're making some other parts as well. This, this uh, pipe work looks kind of interesting. Um, yeah, but that's going to have to be tomorrow now, because I am going to call her quits for this afternoon. So thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>